Greetings from Goblin Valley in Nisedal, Norway. I'm here, so you don't have to be. Today I'm sitting in my office because my house is full of teenagers and they are constantly vaping and playing music, so here I am. Let's not uh, beat around the bush anymore and just go and look at our data sets. Yeah, of course I was too busy playing my my homemade ukulele uh, to really, really thank you all. Your effort in, in this endeavor of ours has been just fantastic. And these numbers, uh, well, it would be impossible to do stuff like this without the help from the community. So I truly, truly thank you. Now, let's look at the um, first and what I last time called the base results. We have here the single battery, single coil setup. I made a promise to you when we started this 2mm inner diameter experiment. I promised I would... Um, make the results more consistent and I promised to take all you people on the left and put you to the right. Well, I would call this a success. <laughs> um, the data sets are of course not as big as we had the last time, but the trend is really, really clear. We, we have now from a 7 or 8 milliliter consumption moved to twice that up into the 14 milliliter group. This is really as clear as day. I know I say again we do not have a tremendous amount of data but the trend is really clear. And when we go to dual battery and dual coils, the same picture emerges. We have uh, 15 milliliters now in a perfectly nice curve. Before we had two groups, very clearly defined around 9-10 milliliters and the other group circling around 16, 7, 18 milliliters. Now we have a nice tapering off and a nice curve, just as with single battery, single coil setup. And of course, we end up with 15 milliliters or 14 or 16 or whatever you choose. This is a very limited data set. But the trend equally is, is really, really clear. So one battery, one coil, with the same inner diameter, we end up with, uh, with the same result when we double the battery and double the coil. Now, single battery, dual coil. Um, yeah. This is really uh, me keeping my promise in uh, putting you guys and girls uh, to the right this time. And again we see from this spread out uh, cluster to the left and the tapering to the right, we now have again a nice curve in the middle. I, I think 10 milliliter that that's really a, a huge amount. I I would have expect um, like around seven or eight, but there are other factors. And of course, this time in in this uh, this study, a lot of you were using twenty seven hundred batteries, and a lot of you, at least half of you, was chain vaping. So that we end up with this high a number on single battery dual coil. I am um, um, the
causes for that, I think, is the big batteries and the chain vaping. Uh, so yeah, there was a, was a lot of you who chain vaped, and then you keep your coils warm all the time, and yeah, you spend a lot less energy. So um, that skews uh, this uh, this results a bit to the right. Uh, so expect around eight milliliters when you when you vape normally. <laughs> yeah. And here we are at the last result, the dual battery single coil. The triple battery dual coil, we had only one result at 25 milliliters or 26, I think. So I will not incorporate that. This is the last chart. Now again, we see a concentration and again, we see a push to the right. Uh, quite significantly. Uh, whereas in the first uh, test we had, we was about 17-18 milliliters, and now we're up at 21-22 uh, uh, milliliter. I would have expected more, but again, I stress, uh, half of you was uh, chain vaping and or used uh, 2700 batteries. So, um, the, uh, and of course you are advanced vapors if you, you go for, a, if you choose a dual battery single coil, that is a conscious uh, choice. And I expect you to be experienced vapors who, who use a setup like uh, that. And you have already figured out how to build optimally. But, but we see a push to the right and we see more consistency and that is in line with the uh, evolvement we have seen in the other charts. So, yeah, I think this prove, uh, proves uh, two cases. Uh, one, that all things being equal, a dual coil setup uh, requires twice the energy of a single coil setup. And the main factor in energy consumption is the total mass of the coil. And that, of course, is the empty space that we fill with cotton and e-juice. That's around 80% of the weight of the coil. So, there you have it. Now... As you saw, the results are very, very conclusive. There is no doubt that the single most important factor for energy consumption in vaping is your coil size, the mass of the coil. Now, there are hundreds of other factors. And of course, the smaller your inner diameter gets, the more important also is the coil wire. My own experiments prove that at 3.5 to 4 mm inner diameter, the Clapton coil was 10% more effective for battery consumption. But at 2 mm inner diameter, the flat wire coil was 20% more effective. Other results I've gotten in shows that single wire 2 mm inner diameter coils uh, was really, really the king of the show. Because the total volume when you use a plain wire is, yeah, really, really tiny indeed. So, yeah, I'm just playing with my cat here. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, now, um, I also encountered a very strange results because my, uh, <clears throat> my regulated mod was uh, a poorer performer than my mech mod, uh, than several of my mech mods. And someone told me that the DNA chip uh, reduced uh, the, the eff efficiency of the batteries with 15% or, or 10%, and, and that actually held true. So there is a lot of components, for instance the batteries, 
uh, like the 2700s and the 21700s. Yeah, Veronica, your results are just amazing. And uh, you probably use uh, plain wire uh, coils and the 21700 uh, batteries, two of them. It's the only way I can explain your results. I don't know if you use a MEC or a um, regulated mod, but I would suspect the MEC mod. So, yeah, uh, during these experiments I've got a lot of interesting information from you. But the conclusion still stands. The total mass of the coil, that is the inner diameter, uh, for the most part, um, is uh, the main cause for battery efficiency or not. So if you use uh, a um, if you use a, a single coil, um, me personally, I will probably go up to two and a half, three millimeter inner diameter for a single coil, but. If I'm going to use a dual coil setup, I will probably, probably, sorry, <laughs> never go uh, above a two millimeter inner diameter coils. So um, it's always a matter of, 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 of course, of flavor and weight, how much of it you prefer and what characteristics you very much would like. So uh, <clears throat> I, I'm not recommending everybody to go full circle on this and go back to old school 24 gauge uh, single wire tiny coils because the flavor will really, really suffer for that setup. So again, a really nice compromise will of course be a flat wire or a semi flat wire or a parallel wire build. When you step up to 3 mm inner diameter, it really, really doesn't matter what kind of coil material you use. Clapton Aliens um, flat wire, it, it really doesn't matter. So, um, well, well, now we know now we know what factors plays uh, the big, uh, biggest roles. Oh yeah, I forgot you chain wipers. Damn, you're crazy. <laughs> chain wiping really uh, throws out every fact we know. It's like if you keep your coils constantly hot, it really doesn't matter what diameter or coil material or anything. Chain vaping is all about the flavor and if you keep your coils constantly warm all the time go for flavor. Use whatever coils you you like. Yeah. Yeah I think that was it for this time. I will go back to doing um, RDAs but you know these things are so fascinating, you know, the flat wire coils, uh, the cotton and the wicking and, and now the, the mass and the diameter. Yeah, I really love this stuff, but um, I'll go back to do RDAs, <laughs> promise. Bye.